So in the last video, we seen how to create a sneaker uh, marketplace um, and we have configured a lot of information from our admin panel and we used uh, a mobile app as an example to see the data. Okay, um, so now what I'm going to do is that um, as you have seen the app already, I'm going to um, fork our open source repository, which is here, coming birds, uh, and launch it in the Vercel. So Vercel is one of like an affordable solution for you to launch your uh, web app, especially like JavaScript, JavaScript apps. It's, it's going to be easy to maintain. Uh, before I go into the importance and then the benefit of Vercel, I'm going to launch this um, project and then, then we will go ahead and see what is the benefit. Okay, so uh, we can sign up. It's They provide a free account as well. So you can sign up uh, in the Vercel.com and then you can import your repository. I mean, I have already imported my repository. That's why uh, it's here. Otherwise, you can just click import third party and then you can put your uh, this URL. I mean, you can use this URL or you can under your GitHub, you can fork this repository and then use the forked URL here. Okay. But anyway, let's just um, use the project I have. So it's um, the main project name is Sneakers Hub. So I'm just going to name it as a Sneakers Hub. And then it's the same thing. See, it's a create React app. And uh, the only information, the additional information, is what we're going to do is that you're going to do the add the environmental variables so which you can find it under the from the root repository uh, oops what happened it's a server error uh, yeah so we go to the uh, uh, as i have used the sandbox account okay so i'm going to use the sandbox environmental file not the production one um so i go to the sandbox one so um there is like five six information it's the same similar information what we did it for the netlify as well um it's the same like import thing and then we need to put this uh four or five um environmental keys so which is the react app environment uh, we're going to use the sandbox so i'll just put sandbox and then um it's the backend url because for the backend url we need to put the backend URL of the sandbox because the production will be ap dot really like sandbox will be ap dot sandbox dot app and then um, business name this is not mandatory thing but just to have some so I'll just put sneakers hub or just put sneakers hub and then um, the API key uh, if, let, let me do the API key at the last I need to copy the keys from the admin panel. So domain URL, the purpose of the domain URL is to create um, your sitemap. So for us, let's just put sneakers hub dot Vercel dot app. We're not going to use our own domain. We'll just use the Vercel domain. I will tell you how you can change the, how you can get this domain like this as well. So then the last one is the API key. So the API key is here. You can go to settings and the API. Okay, so this is my publishable API key. So try yeah, paste it here. Okay, that's it. And also there is one default thing we need to put it in Netlify. Netlify our uh, Vercel is we need to put here equal to false. I will show here. The number of project can contain up to half one. Okay. So, okay, so we need, we need to be all uh, small letters. So, I'm going to launch it. It's going to take a few seconds. Uh, until then, uh, I'm going to stop and come. So, the project is finished. Um, we can um, see the preview from here. I click here you should be able to go to the project yep that's it so whatever things uh, we are um, seeing in the app you should be able to also see it in the web as well so this is the uh, the web toolkit there is one thing which I want to share before which is 
uh, the benefit of uh, sneak, uh, virtual or native file. So when I was like trying to launch this project for you, when I pushed, uh, um, it wasn't using the latest code, okay? Um, in the layman term, there was an update, which uh, there was uh, there was needed an update. Uh, it was not uh, working before. So for example, I can show you that. Okay, this project is working. Let me just go back to the other deployments. I can show you there was a one more, the previous one. Uh, This one is not working, you see here. So then I merged a uh, branch and then this is the latest commit. So every reason commit you get from uh, um, GitHub, it's gonna create you a preview. So it doesn't go to your production. So you can always see your preview first, how it looks, okay? Then you can tell that, okay, promote this to production. Then it will go to the pro uh, production, okay? And then the second thing which I want to tell you is the uh, domains. You can add your domains here, okay? For example, let's say uh, this is like sneakershub.com. You can add there. Then it will tell you um, what you need to do and all those steps. For now, it by default, this created um, a default subdomain under the virtual.app. The reason also like why we put the React domain URL is to create the sitemap. Let me show you. So. For example, this is the one, yeah, okay, this is not working. It's because we need to promote the other one to the production. Uh, sorry, this reason one to the production. So once we push this to the production, it's gonna take few sec, a uh, few minutes. So until then, I can maybe show using this as an example. So if I put sitemap.xml, it's gonna show me, see here, sneakers.app, here we go, yeah. So that's the purpose of that environment variable. I hope this, helps you uh, do watch uh, the previous video on how you can um, create a sneaker marketplace like this and how you can configure the items as well um, from the simple admin panel okay